what's good y'all it's boy ross back at again with another video so i'm gonna check out uh jerry jarrett rest in peace wwe changing wrestlemania 39 main event and wwe sued bloodline trailer other wrestling news we're gonna check this out appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel you guys are amazing uh didn't mean to put that full screen <laughs> and let's get right into this bad boy Going on guys, it is WrestleMania oh, here, back with some more guys. news. Join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know, including, is WWE changing the main event of WrestleMania 39? Legendary promoter Jerry Jarrett passes away. A wild rumor concerning a potential Sami Zayn championship run. Conan 180s. WWE being sued. Seth Rollins is adorable and much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new channel, WrestleMania Shorts. Now let's hit the intro and get straight into our first story. Now first we looks at whether WWE is changing the main event at WrestleMania 39. But top of today's news is the question of whether the WWE is going to change its WrestleMania 39 main event from Roman Reigns vs Cody Rhodes to a triple threat match with the addition of Sami Zayn. Hmm. While there haven't been any reports of WWE yeah. doing this, fans have been speculating about such a bout after a well received promo between Zayn and Rhodes on the 13th February Raw. Cody recently spoke with Ariel Helwani on the MMA Hour and when asked how he felt about such a switch, he replied, no, I don't really have a preference, solely because I want to wrestle the best. People wanted a contender forever. So if two show up, don't be mad. Don't make it about A or B or B or A or one or two. Enjoy it all. That's really been kind of the challenge. I can't begrudge a dude for getting super hot. Mm -hmm. I have no preference in terms of the direction it goes. I really look forward to the moments when I'm there and if they happen, Sammy, whether that's just on the road to WrestleMania, because I think it's different than people think. I think he's doing amazing. Cody has shown class in every one of the segments involved in his quest for the Undisputed Championship. It's worth reminding fans that the current belief is that WWE doesn't want to change its plans for Mania's main event. However, Triple H may just see how popular Zayn is and change things up, much as the WWE did at WrestleMania 30 and True. 35 when Daniel Bryan and Kofi Kingston's popularity had fans demanding their main event, despite the WWE's previous plans. Next up, a legend. And that can be something that I know a lot of people are now definitely speculating. The only thing is, how does that work? How does it end? Because at that point, it's like it's everyone's going to be rooting either for Sammy or Cody. Roman is, you know, we, you know, it's it's looking clear cut and dry that Roman's going to. It's pretty much going to be a handicap match. It'll be a two-on-one handicap match because they both don't like Roman. So I don't know how that works. I, I, I get it. It sounds great on paper, but you have to really think about it from a standpoint of if that does happen, do you sit up here and build up Cody for all these months only for him to lose to Sammy, even though Sammy did get organically hot? Or do you feed into the hype and give Sammy that championship? Or, I don't know, is there a way to separate it? If there was a way to separate the titles during the match, that would be cool. Like, say they both pin him, but it, I don't know, man. I, I just, I don't know. I, I think they're probably just going to play it safe and still have Cody be the guy. But this is the great thing about this. We really don't know how this is going to play out. So it'll be interesting to see. Street promoter Jerry Jarrett passes away at 80. The legendary wrestling promoter Jerry Jarrett has passed away. Mr. Jarrett passed away on 14th February after battling esophageal cancer. Damn. Wrestling Observer Figure 4 Online's Dave Meltz was reporting Jerry Jarrett, a booking genius whose style of television, with the emphasis on interviews and skits as opposed to matches, was in his era the closest to modern wrestling, passed away this morning at the age of 80. Jerry Jarrett broke into the grappling game at a young age thanks to his mother working in wrestling. Jerry eventually became a referee and then a wrestler. He worked in the Southern NWA Territory, Southern East Championship Wrestling, and NWA Mid-America. His real calling, though, was as a wrestling promoter. In 1977, he founded the Continental Wrestling Association, which was based out of Memphis, Tennessee. CWA was referred to as Memphis Wrestling or Mid-Southern Wrestling in the APTA magazines of the 80s, and it became a success thanks to Jerry Jarrett's promotional skills and headliner Jerry the King Lawler's phenomenal drawing power. 
Jerry Jarrett became known for his ability to think outside of the box. He helped popularize entrance music for wrestlers and the use of music videos to hype wrestlers. Mm. He was also able to do what most promotions couldn't do in the 80s, survive against the WWF's incredible success. Jarrett didn't compete against the WWF, but he was able to keep his promotion afloat by keeping his customers happy and finding new talent to round out his established stars. Although Jarrett sold his interest in the promotion, he returned to promoting in 2002 when he launched TNA Wrestling alongside his son Jeff Jarrett. Mm. This provided fans with an alternative to WWE, which by then had eliminated ECW and WCW. And we extend our condolences to Mr. Jarrett's friends, family For and sure. many friends. For Next sure. up, a wild rumor concerning potential... Definitely rest in peace, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's crazy to, you know, think that uh, someone that had that type of uh, connection in the wrestling world and that type of pool, you know, is tragically gone, you know. But granted, 80 years, is a, is, that's, a, that's a lifetime to be doing things, and he made the best of his time just off the legacy left behind. So once again, prayers go out to the family and uh, his loved ones. And, uh, you know, I say this all the time. Hey, make the best of your life while you're here. If you got some time on this planet, do what you want to do in the sense of that's going to make you, you know, that makes you happy. You know, do that. Go for that. Don't let nothing stop you. You know, the fact that he was able to do all these things in the wrestling business and kind of help take wrestling to the next level. That's a testament. It will always be here. You feel me? So that's the one thing I can take from that. Rest in peace. Sami Zayn championship run. Is Sami Zayn going to win the undisputed championship? Everyone wants to know if that will happen, but Dave Meltzer recently dispelled a rumor about why the WWE wouldn't want to put the belt on Zayn. Twitter user Frank Caramano asked, Can Sean Ross Sapp or Dave Meltzer check into the truth that isn't being reported? Sami Zayn isn't winning a world title this week or next month because following Mania, they're going to be in a country he's not allowed to perform in. That's the biggest reason he's not winning. Hmm? Meltzer replied, Whatever decision has been made, this has nothing to do with it promise yeah the Sami Zayn phenomenon continues to grow and as long as it does you can be certain WWE is giving serious thought to a Zayn title run next up Possibly. Conan 180s it's time for a follow-up on a recent story where former wrestler Conan went off on AEW star Takashita for using the frog splash on the 8th yeah, February Dynamite and doing a shimmy like Eddie Guerrero the man forever associated with the move but now Conan is saying his comments were a joke tweeting the Takashita thing was a joke like I'm really gonna get mad over him doing a frog splash Everyone does it. If you actually believe I was hot, joke's on you. AEW grappler Miro responded to Conan's original criticism, tweeting, I bet you all that Conan, or whatever his name is, can't last 10 seconds with Takashita. Given that Conan is reportedly awaiting a kidney transplant, it's likely he couldn't last 10 seconds with anyone in the ring. I don't know about that, because the comments, it, I, I don't know. It didn't come off as a joke. I don't, I don't know if that's what he normally does. And people missed it, but it came off as like bitter. It'd be different. He'd be like, "I'm just, I'm just messing around." LOL or something. I don't know. It didn't come off as a joke. It, it, it seemed like he was, he, he felt that way. I don't know. Do you guys think it was a joke, or did Conan just 180? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, WWE being sued over vehicular accident. Uh -oh. WWE is being sued over a vehicular accident. You never know who you'll run into WWE. On this case, you never know who the WWE is allegedly going to run into. Let's look at a court case involving WWE driver and a cyclist. PW Insider oh, provided considerable background on the case through information it obtained from court documents. Wrestling News is reporting on the suit which was filed by one Jackson Parsons. The lawsuit was first filed in June 2021 when it was alleged that on July 22, 2019 in Tampa, there was a van rented by WWE that was driven by a WWE employee, Gaten Thomas, who was on the job at the time and had an accident with Parsons who was riding a bicycle. Uh -oh. PW Insider obtained the court documents concerning the case and so far the complainant is seeking the following damages. Parsons stated he's lost the quality of life he was looking for when he had moved to Florida and past medical expenses stemming from the accident are already $171,000. He also cited a loss of past and future earnings at $75,000 to $100,000. He also projected his future medical expenses in the amount of $314,000. What happened? Next up, does Dax Harwood have- Like, I want to know what happened. That's going to be his future expenses? What the hell happened? Like dead ass, what happened? Did he, did he suffer like broken bones? Can he not walk? I need to know. This is coming from somebody that was just uh, recently in an accident. 
Like, I want to know. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Uh, shit. And that happened a few years ago. Woo. I'm hoping everything gets sorted out with them. Have some sort of beef with Austin and Colton Gunn? Well, Harwood spoke about the newly crowned AEW World Tag Team Champions on a recent episode of his podcast. One half of FTR seemed to criticize the duo for not paying their dues. There are guys who study the craft and try to be better. There are also a couple of guys who made it to the top of because who their father is. They never had to be in the trenches or they never had to travel to these little shitty shows to make a buck or get seen. All they know is AEW or national television wrestling. With that, they may not think it and they may not be doing it on purpose. But with that, they think that everything should be catered to them. Nonetheless, I would recognize that the heels know how to get heat from AEW fans. I will say there aren't too many acts in wrestling that people absolutely despise. Mm -hmm. They despise these guys. Yeah. They get the ass boys chance. When they won the tag belts, the people were mad. Yeah. Did you were. think that Dax's comments are work to lead into an FTR versus Guns program? Let us know in the comments down below. I'm down with that. I am so down with that. People love the FTR. People hate them. That's good. I'm okay with it. I don't have a problem with it. I, I don't. I don't. If you got a good heel t team, that people, as soon as they see, they just boo. I don't, I'm, get them off my screen. I, I despise them. That's good. That's good. And they're champs. That's good. So you want baby faces to take, take the championship from them. And I would have them have a little decent run doing everything they can to retain their championships until they finally lose. I hope FTR becomes AEW World Tag Team Champs. I think they deserve it. So we'll see if that plays out. Next up, Bronson Reed receives a weak reception. A Reed who demolished Mustafa Ali on the 13th February <laughs> Raw has been getting a strong push oh, since returning. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. God damn, I'm about to die. Live on camera, man. <clears throat> if you see this video, then obviously I survived. Oh, I'm keeping that in. I'm not even going to cut that out. I'm going to keep that in. Just so y'all can see me almost damn near choking on water, man. That's crazy. <laughs> and it's a WWE. Indeed, uh -oh. the Muscle Man is competing in the men's chamber match this Saturday for the U.S. Championship. <clears throat> However, in a tweet showing the 13th February Raw, it doesn't look that Reed is quite over yet. No reaction for Bronson Reed. He's better off going back to NXT to build himself up. Reed is just one of many former NXT superstars that Triple H brought back to WWE. Bronson is being portrayed as nothing less than a powerhouse, but they appear to be positioning him for a prominent role on Raw. It's difficult to tell if this was a one-off occurrence, and if not, it may take the WWE time to build him up where the fans get behind him either as a face or a heel. Next yeah, and I, I think maybe his showing at the Elimination Chamber can help. We'll see what he does in the Elimination Chamber. We'll see the type of response he gets in that match since he's like the 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 big guy in that match we'll see what they do if they can get the crowd behind him there and i think that's the reason they put him in that match i think they can build off of that so we'll see i'm willing to give it a chance you know but we'll see <clears throat> next up the bloodline is doing a good fella skit there's some interesting rumors emerging about the WWE's WrestleMania Goes to Hollywood movie trailers. The WWE is following up on the popularity of WrestleMania 21's WrestleMania Goes to Hollywood mm -hmm. with a new series of movie trailer parodies. According to WrestleVotes, the WWE is the following trailers planned. I'm told that the list below are the planned WrestleMania Goes Hollywood movie trailers. Ms. and Maurice, Top Gun, Rear mm. Judgment Day, Stranger Things, mm. Rolling Brutes and Drew McIntyre, 40-Year-Old Virgin, <laughs> Becky and Seth Rollins, Batman and Joker, okay. The Bloodline, Goodfellas. Okay. These parodies are as good as the ones from WrestleMania 21. They should generate even more interest in I what is looking are. to be one of the biggest manias in a long time. And finally, Seth Rollins is adorable. <clears throat> Last but not least, time for another heartwarming story involving a wrestler interacting with a fan. Recently, Rollins approached a young fan and played with the toddler briefly before kissing the youngster on the head. Seth can be seen slapping hands with fans at ringside as well, a reminder of how adored he is by the WWE oh, universe. Yeah, he's, he's, the he's, it, folks, the he's definitely a, to know. Uh, he's, uh, he's definitely in the babyface bag, <laughs> and it's working for him, man. It's working for him, even though his outfits are outlandish as hell but this was pretty cool video um i want to know y'all opinions as well in the comments down below do y'all think he sammy Zayn, should be inserted into the match and we have a triple threat match at wrestlemania for the main event i don't know you know do y'all think that's a possibility that could happen right now 
who knows so let me know down below in the comment section but i appreciate all the love and support you guys showing on the uh, uh on the channel just in general you guys are amazing liking the videos commenting and uh i really do appreciate that road to 150k and i am still the undisputed youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all kicking with me see you on the next one peace